Hello everyone, welcome back to Ayman the Repair Tech channel. My name is Ayman and today I have an iPhone XS has a problem. It's stuck in the DFU mode and the customer who brought it here is a shop nearby and when he tried to do a restore, the phone gives him an error 9. So let me do a restore first to confirm the problem. Maybe he has a problem with his cables or computer. It's good practice that you confirm the problem before you start working on it. It's confirmed that the device is in the recovery mode. Let's do a restore. Error 9. Confirmed. So let's check the board under the microscope. It's pretty clean. And what I can see here that this uh, boards, the layers, is not separated before. That's a good sign. Uh, I wish I didn't say that because I see a sign of damage here in the connector. Uh, that connector... That's pretty bad. But it will not make the phone stuck in DFU mode. What I want to look here is the NAND uh, voltages, the power supply for the NAND. And I will look for a short or something. So let's check the NAND power supply voltages. And 2.6, 2v6 is available, is there. And... Uh, 0 v9 0 v9 oops I hate the connector of the the battery for iPhone 8 and X very bad connector it's very loose from here or from there uh, this is 2.6 also Zero V nine here PP one V eight IO the three power supplies is there. Let's disconnect the battery and check diet mode. PP two V six is okay. And 0v9 also is okay. 1.8 IO also is okay. There's no short, the power supply is okay. So maybe it's uh, the NAND itself or CPU. Let's remove the NAND and check if it's working NAND or it's dead one. We have to use the P11F uh, programmer. I don't know if you can see what I see here. Oh my god, the board is screwed! Oh my god! I can see the second layer from here. I don't know if you can see that. It's very dark in the camera of the microscope cannot get the image. But when I look in the eyepieces, I can see the second layer of the board! I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. People hate me when I talk about other technicians trying fixing phones and screwing it instead. Speechless. The only fix for this kind of situation is board swap and uh, I don't have permission from the customer to do so and uh, it will cost much more. If he accepts the charges I will do another video uh, but up to now this is a fail. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you do don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of my coming videos. Till then my work here is not done but I'll see you next one. Bye guys.